Blessed love, my Lord and Empress. Give thanks for life and the mighty life giver. Holy Emmanuel, I, Selassie, I, Jah, Rastafari. This is the African Liberation Network, and I'm the host, Honorable Prophet Daniel. And this is the Health, Strength, and Restoration. And at this time, I'll turn it over to the honor of a leading priest, Priest German. Holy Emmanuel, I. The prayer to be in the program, my Lord. My Lord and Empress, bless the love, give thanks, give thanks you for this night saying we too. Give thanks for all ones gathered. Give thanks even for the blessed day gone through, the midday hour, and the down set it, and the night at this time. Most I, Selassie I, Rastafari, Reverence for Wings Globally, Earthland Sky and Sea, said the Black Christ, King Selassie I, Rastafari, our glory be unto the Father, unto the Son, and to the Holy One of creation. As Jah was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, the world without end, Selassie I, Jah, Rastafari. All continuing reading from our psalm, taken from the mighty book of King David, psalm number and two. Jahovia, Jah. Rastafari, we thanks for life and the mighty life giver. Same way to you know at this hour. Jehovah, Jah, Rastafari, my Lord. Amen. Oh, how good and how pleasant it is for us brothers and sisters to dwell together within one perfect unity. It's like the precious ointment that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard that ran down the skirts of his garments, like the dew of Hermon, like the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion. Here the Lord God commanded his, his blessings, even life forevermore within I and I, Selassie I, Jah, Rastafari. Dear the, the blessed reading of Psalms 133, my Lord and Empress, give thanks. The floor now turn over to the Honorable Empress Maisie. Blessed love. No, well, give thanks, Majesty. So go ahead, my Lord, and let us start the hymn now. Man of sorrow, <laughs> what a name, Jaja. Yes, ja, <laughs> man of sorrows, what a name. Okay, <clears throat> ready, sister Miriam. Ready, man of sorrow, what a name for the son of Negus who came. Rain, Israel to reclaim. Ruin Israel to, to, sorry, ruin Israel to reclaim. Ruin Israel to reclaim. Hallelujah. What a savior. Hallelujah, what a savior. what a savior. Bearing shame and scoffing rude. Bearing shame and scoffing rude. In my place condemned he stood. In my place Seal my pardon with his, his blood. Seal my pardon with Jah. Hallelujah, what a savior. Hallelujah, what a savior. Hallelujah, what a savior. Hallelujah, what a savior. Guilty, vile, and helpless, we. Guilty, vile, and helpless, we. Spotless Lamb of God was he. Spotless God as, as he. Full anointed can it be. Full anointed can it 
Lifted up was he to live. Lifted up was he to live. It is finished was his cry. It is finished was his cry. Now in Zion exalted high. Now in Zion exalted Hallelujah, what a savior. Hallelujah, what a savior. Hallelujah, what a savior. Uja, what a savior. When he comes, our glorious king coming down. When Jacob, all glorious king, all his ransom home to bring, all Jah ransom home to bring. Then I knew this song we'll sing. Then I knew this song will sing. Hallelujah, what a savior. Uja, what a savior. Hallelujah, what a savior coming down. Uja, what a savior. Uh, uh, Holy moon, Zion, 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 ha. Lord, holy moon, Zion, oh, 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 na, Jovia, ja. Rastafari, the Lord is my shepherd, I don't want another, Celestia, ja. Rastafari, my Lord and Empress, give thanks, Royal Priest, for such a beautiful track in my Lord. Give thanks, Empress. Love. love, love. Honorable. Yes, Honorable family, give thanks again, you know, as we gather once more to bring forward, you know, the topic here tonight and your pause. Or the mound, right? I do give thanks, you know, for the hosts of the program and thank God for, you know, the African, the African Liberation Network and all his listeners who are listening. Tonight, we give thanks to each and every one. We give thanks, you know, as last night, as we celebrate our one year of anniversary. And do give thanks to all our guest speakers who turn up, you know, and part their knowledge unto I and I. You now we learn a lot first night from our beloved brethren and sistering. And we do give thanks, you know, for all that is said and done first night. And we are still celebration, celebrating, you know, our anniversary. So tonight, I won't be saying much. I'm just giving thanks to my research team, my family. Give thanks to the royal priests who carry out the prayer, you know, and track the info I. Give thanks to our elders who is here with us, you know, and so glorify all strength and power. Give thanks, you know, for our oaths, as I said, Jadaniel who opened the prayer. And for Sister Miriam, who sing the hymn. I will now turn over the floor unto our first speaker, Honorable Empress A. Rachel, to give us, you know, the first. Yeah, give thanks. A blessed night to the royal family. A whole heart of celebration moving forward, you know, give thanks to the first anniversary of the health, strength, and restoration. You know, get thanks to the honorable host, Ja Daniel, and all the empresses. You know, give thanks, much love. Holy Marcus, Ali, Manuel, I, 
Selassie, Ja, Rasta, Farai. So tonight we're taking anthropos, but we're going from the beginning, which is puberty in the young man. So we're going puberty in the young man, and we're going to the anthropos. So I will just do puberty. Olimakasa, Limanuelai, Selassie, Ja, Rasta, Farai. What is puberty? Puberty is when a part of the brain called the hypothalamus signals the structure to start puberty by passing along a message in the form of hormones. Hormones are small molecules made by your structure that travels in your bloodstream to various parts of the structure, including the brain. Hormones are important for passing messengers over long distances in your structure so that different organs can communicate with each other. When a hormone reaches its destination, it attaches to what is called a receptor or in a cell this triggers a response in the cell that can influence the cell's behavior and even its survival. Finally, the hypothalamus begins producing a hormone called the gonadotropin, releasing hormone. The hypothalamus sends gonadotropin tropin, releasing hormone to another part of the brain called the pituitary gland. The gonadotropin releasing hormone stimulates the pituitary gland to release two more hormones. One the lutein hormone, and two, the follicle-stimulating hormone. These two hormones travel to the sex organ, the testis, triggering it to begin releasing the sex hormone testosterone. These messenger hormones cause the telltale signs of puberty to begin. So family, moving on here. When do puberty starts? A young man begins puberty between the ages of nine and 14 years. There are five stages of puberty that a young man goes through, which is called the Tanner stages. The Tanner stages outline the stages of puberty when they are likely to occur. Family, the first stage is called perpubertal. In this, a young man haven't experienced any visible changes. In the second stage, the physical changes begin between the ages of nine and 14 years. In this stage, the young man begins to experience one genital development. That is their growth of their testicles and scrotum. Two, the young man also experienced the growth of parts of hair around their, their penis, sorry, and under their armpits. Also, an increase in height, typically about two to two and a half inches per year, which could bring growing pains. In the third stage, physical changes speeds up between the ages of 10 and 16 years. One, continued growth of their penis and testicles as well as possible red dream. Red dreams is a continuous organ, organism, organism during sleep. Two, more sweating, which can lead to bad structure odor. Three, vocal changes, heaviness in voice, an increase in structure mass. And four, some breast development or the gynecostoma, the gyno custom, sorry, the gynecomastia occurs in about 50% of all young men, but typically resolve by the end of puberty between the ages of 11 and 15 years. Family gynecomastia is a common condition 
that cause the young man breast to swell and become larger than normal. In the fourth stage, puberty hits full stride between the ages of 11 and 16 years. The young man experiences one, growth in penis size and darkening of the skin on their scrotum and testicles. Two, structure hair growth that reaches adult level. Three, a peak growth spur that average nearly four inches per year. And development of acne and a continued vocal deepening in voice. Family in the fifth stage, puberty ends in this stage. The young man has finished their growth and physical development. Most young men finish growth by the age of 17 years, but some may continue growing through their early 20s. Then we have early puberty and late puberty possible causes. Early puberty, it may be because of the pituitary gland turning on hormones too early and hypothyroidism, which is an, an underactive thyroid gland. And delayed puberty can be an abnormal endocrine or the young man may just be blossoming late. So family, give thanks to the moment. Give thanks for all that is learned. Chiri Pawadi Most High God, Ja Rastafari. I do hand over the set now to the Honorable Empress Cindy. Blessed night, family. Ja Rastafari. Blessed love, my Lord and Empress. Give thanks to the downsetting. Give thanks to the Health, Strength, and Restoration family. We celebrated our one-year anniversary and we're still doing it for the rest of the strong. So give thanks for ones and ones who appeared first night to give us the strength. And you know everyone who was celebrating with us, we truly and humbly give thanks. Most high, Selassie, Ja, Rastafari. So I'm Empress Cindy. I am going to continue on with um, the topic for tonight, which is andropause. Male menopause. Age-related hormone changes in man are different from those in woman. Understand the signs, symptoms, and treatment options. Hormone changes are a natural part of aging, unlike the more dramatic reproductive hormone plunge that occurs in woman during menopause. However, sex hormone changes in men occur gradually. Here's what you need to know. The term male menopause has been used to describe decreasing testosterone levels related to aging. But aging related hormone changes in women and men are different. In women, ovulation ends and hormone production plummets during a relatively short period of time. This is known as menopause. In man, production of testosterone and other hormones declines over a period of many years and the consequences aren't necessarily clear. This gradual decline of testosterone levels is called late onset hypogonadism or age-related low testosterone. A man's testosterone levels decline on average about 1% a year after the age of 40. But most older men still have testosterone levels within the normal range, with only an estimated 10% to 25% having levels considered to be low. Low testosterone levels in older men often go unnoticed. Testosterone levels can be checked by a blood test, but tests aren't routinely done. And many men who have low testosterone levels experience no symptoms. In addition, the signs and symptoms associated with low testosterone aren't specific to low testosterone. They can also be caused by a person's age, 
medication use or other conditions such as having a body mass index of 30 or higher. Still, signs and symptoms suggestive of low testosterone level of low testosterone include reduced sexual desire and activity, decreased spontaneous erections or erectile dysfunction, breast discomfort or swelling, infertility, height loss, low trauma fra fracture or low bone mineral density, hot flashes or sweats. Other possible symptoms include decreased energy, motivation and confidence, depressed mood, and poor concentration. It's also possible to experience increased sleepiness, sleep disturbances, mild <clears throat> unexplained anemia, reduced muscle bulk and strength, and increased body fat. Experts recommend only testing older men for low testosterone if they have signs or symptoms. If an initial test shows low testosterone, the test should be repeated to confirm the results. If low testosterone is confirmed, further testing of the pituitary gland is recommended to determine the cause and rule out other hormone deficiencies. The pituitary gland is a kidney bean-sized gland situated at the base of your brain. It is part of your goodies, <clears throat> your structures, endocrine system, which consists of all the glands that produce and regulate hormones. <clears throat> Treatment recommendations for older men with low testosterone. <clears throat> The recommendations on testosterone therapy for men with age-related low testosterone vary. <clears throat> Doctors consider starting testosterone treatment in men with sexual dysfunction who want to improve their sexual function after explaining the risk and benefits. The Endocrine Society recommended testosterone therapy for men with age-related low testosterone who have signs and symptoms associated with low testosterone. Some experts also recommend offering testosterone treatment to men with age-related low testosterone without the presence of signs or symptoms. If you choose to start testosterone therapy, your doctor will explain the different ways testosterone can be administered target levels and follow-up testing. For some men, testosterone therapy relieves bothersome signs and symptoms of testosterone deficiency. For others, the benefits aren't clear and there are possible risks. <clears throat> testosterone therapy might stimulate growth of metat metatastic prostate and breast cancer. Testosterone therapy may also increase the risk of heart attack and stroke and contribute to the formation of blood clots in the veins. Your doctor will likely recommend against starting testosterone treatment if your fertility is important in the near future or if you have conditions such as breast or prostate cancer, untreated severe obstructive sleep apnea, uncontrolled heart failure or throm thrombophilia, or if you've recently had a heart attack or a stroke. If you think you might have low testosterone, talk to your doctor or health practitioner about your signs and symptoms, testing and possible treatment options. Give thanks, my Lord and Empress, and I'm now I'm going to pass the floor on to Honorable Empress Dion. Give thanks. Blessed love, my Lord and Empress, all royal viewers, give thanks. 
for the African Liberation Network to give thanks to the Health, Strength and Restoration Program one year anniversary gone by. On the program first night, I am Empress Dion, but me, I am Empress Dion, and I will be doing the foods for the male genitals. And on the program first night, we had the Right Honorable Priest Kailash on the program. And he mentioned that when I, we, we had an opportunity to ask him questions. And my question was concerning Anthropos, which is the program we are doing tonight, right? And he called it Woman Apods. You could go back on the program last night and see the whole program and view everything. But I just would like to point out one or two things from it, right? Um, he called it woman of pause because he said it's the woman that is putting the man on pause. So it, it, even though foods can help, herbs can help, we as wives and mothers have to help as well, okay? And he mentioned also CMOS, stinging nettle, man better man, and rosemary. That's the... That's just normal plants in your backyard that you could get for, for um, the male genital to help enhance and help boost your mood and help boost you as a man, you know? So I would just like to point out that as well. So my foods and herbs that I have is cruciferous vegetables, which are things like cabbage and broccoli, cauliflower, you know? We have ginseng, coconut oil, ginger, avocado, omega fats, like walnuts. You could get zinc and vitamin E. And a combination of omega fatty acids, zinc and vitamin E is great for hormone production in males. We have dried berry fruits, such as blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, which help to activate sperm cells and testosterone levels by increasing energy. We have legumes and pulse, cook, the cooked and the sprouts, which helps hormone production and balance. And there are fruits and vegetables which produce vitamins, minerals, and proteins, which helps in testicular and testosterone hormone balance. And let's never, ever forget water. And herbs for one, the prostrate gland. I have corn silk, golden seal, garlic, saw palmetto berries, white pond lily, and buck chew. Herbs for the testicles, per adventure, it is going through inflammation or swelling. We have chickweed, mulein, saw palmetto berries, which is to be taken when testicles are swollen and painful. The, hot, the following herbs are to be used in a mixture as a poultice or taken internally. Two ounces of burdock, one ounce of cleaver, one ounce of sanical, one ounce of bitter sweet root, all mixed together. And you will use it like a teaspoon per cup. And then we have herbs for the genital. Per adventure, you might have burning or itching. In case of itching, you can use raspberry leaves, marshmallow, slippery elm, or pulsary root. And the poultry root should be taken internally. We also have peach leaves, which should be used for swelling. Checkweed, which can be used internally and also externally as a wash for burning and itching. And for spermatoria, we have sage, bok chu, juniper berries, cuba berries, uva ursa, 
and black willow. And I have a drink here, a tea for your prostrate and your bladder. Great three cloves of garlic and a piece of ginger. Add it to a cup of hot water, stir and steep for 30 minutes. Strain and add honey, mix and drink. This drink gives you energy and strength. I will also like to add that we are not medical doctors and this program is for educational expansion. So to my YouTube family, stay happy, healthy, and beautiful. Give thanks to Ja Daniel, Jack Lackey, Empress Miriam, Empress Rachel, and Empress Cindy for our year of joy and celebration, time and energy. Holy Makasai, Holy Emanuelai, Selassie, Ja, Rastafari. I would like to hand over the floor to Honorable Ja Clarkie, my Lord. Blessed love and Rabbi Jack Lackey, my mute still, my lord. Oh, blessed love, family, pardon me. I know the internet sometimes is a distribution. But out of love, out of love, we live by joy. <clears throat> Get thanks to the blessed, you know, hour, you know, this day, you know, which I now come, you know, to share again, you know, to the world, YouTube visitor. You know, and family, and watchers, you know, blessed love to the HSR family, you know, the hosts, and all the royal empresses, you know, the honorary priests, you know. So this is just my analyzation, giving thanks here, you know, to all upful research and reasoning from the royal empresses, you know, towards puberty to andropause. So skeptically, we <clears throat> we'll just go, you know, basically in the book Levitical 15, verse 16. Richard quotes, Remarcus I remember, I Rasia, I Rastafari. And if any man's seed of copulation go out from him, then he shall wash all his flesh in water and be unclean until the evening. Holy man, Malai, Selassie, Ija, Rastafari. So I just bring forth this verse here now. Now I'd like to highlight now what the emphasis on them now reason to the royal family, which is the process which a youth man turning into a man does go through. Now the scriptures they show you that when a man see a copulation come out from him, you know, he could be unfree until the evening. But I didn't really break it down to show you what the state place for the seed of copulation to come from in him to come out. So this is the process where I find family, what the stake play to run out or have an over when a youth man, you know, age now teens, going into adulthood, you know, go through changes, you know, as as the empress and the reason. So is this what does really actually happen in you know the human structure or the structure of a male person, you know, concerning puberty. So given thanks and praise, you know, for the explanation, and I will forward now to we will say now Andropos, which now, as the Empress and them reason again, it come like as a decline now in the man's sperm come, you know. So, even in the scriptures, we read about King David, you know, in the fourth book of Kings, chapter one, you know, we read 
you know, David was old, as the scriptures say, and strickening age, so you know where he was at a certain age, right? And they cover him with clothes, but he got no heat. All right. So that means he wasn't in winter, you know, that kind of way, that he needed clothes, that he was so shaken. It wasn't really that. It means that the whole body was going through that process now, you know? As you know, we notice, you know, when from one stage to another, you know, a child, you know, when no born, it doesn't get bathed in, you know, cold water after a certain age, you know, it's had a bit of warm, they had to look the water and everything. And you know, the people and the old people have all seen this say, you know, once a child, twice a man, or twice a man, child, once a child, you know, it just go back to being a child. When I start to reach back down to age now, you know, it doesn't can't be in cold water again. The skin, which is the largest organ on you, doesn't can't take that coldness again. So it's at a, you know, break down the water back again. So you see, it's a process now what is be taking place now in this structure. So we see now David now being a man, shaking age after he go through all them wars and all them different battles and, you know, as wives and, you know, reach this point in age now, the scripture is showing you here in the verse 2, wherefore now <clears throat> his servant said unto him, Let there be sought for my Lord, the king, a young virgin. And let her stand before the king. Why? Question. That you know, and well, you know, a man or seeing a woman, then you know the affection and the heart and everything can start to flow. So he could try to get back heat, you know. So he was cold then, you know. So they say, yeah, just natural. And let her cherish him, you know, which is to come close to him, you know, warming up. And let her lie in thy bosom that my Lord, the king, may get heat, you know. He could feel back warm. He could get back, we will say, a natural erection. You know? Feel back the blood start to flow in him now. You know? So they sought for a fair damsel throughout all the coast of Israel and found Abishag, a Shunanite, and brought her to the king. So this is the virgin now who they found for David, Abishag. Note. Verse 4, and the damn self was very fair and cherished the king and ministered to him. But the king knew her not. All right. So when we see the phrase in the scripture, K-N-E-W, -W, you know, which is the new, right? It really refers to have union with. Like, you know, you will see a man, new wife, Adam. New Eve, you know, he didn't knew she before, he was only seeing she, but when he entered into she, come and knew she now, you know, he come and know and make union with that one feminine power there. So, the king and all, even in that stage, you know, you see, when you and your pause, then just natural. So, this is the chapters, you know, where we just bring, you know, to the family, you know, to our listeners, you know, to show you the different flow. What does take place within a male figure? You know, as we read in the book, Leviticus 15, verse 16, come back and just show you when a man sees a compilation run out from him. But in the next plane, yeah, give thanks to the emphasis for such research to show you well what does actually take place, you know, to the production of a seed now in a male figure, you know, and what does take place after you reach a certain age you know, in the main figure also. So we give thanks to this night here. You know, we give thanks to the HSR family and you know, all loved ones. And, you know, this is an educational, you know, program. We do study and we come to share, you know, everything that is good towards health. You know, as Dr. Selby said, you know, let the food be a medicine. You know, so we just try to 
endorse all these good things. We give thanks to the uh, Peace College, Kayla, you know, first night, Peace Isaac, who was on the program. You know, it was very really joy, you know, one year of our, you know, anniversary, Peace German, you know, give thanks to you, bless, you know. It was joy. So, so tonight, here yeah, it's just the program, you know, as we come to fulfill, you know, towards the world viewers, you know, and I would just like to restore back something because this is the health, strength, and restoration family. So, my Lord and Empress, I just like to bring forth such mighty works, which on this day, on the 6th of June, <clears throat> 1950, Right Honorable, our INA leader, President God King of the Ethiopia Africa Black International Congress Church of Divine Salvation made such dreadful move on this day, you know, in the House of Representatives in Jamaica, which he revealed the red, gold, and green, the red, black, and green with the black five point star. At that time, right, Alexander Bustamante and Manley was in government. Now, these man and them, when I check back, is a Syrian lineage from the Ottoman Empire, right? So we see now we read the Assyrians cryptically, we understand, we come to slavery to rule we back in the West too, right? Now, at this time, King Emmanuel makes such move. You know, the man are right now, you know, and cause the house right in Jamaica to close down for three days. They try to keep it quiet, you know, but man a man give thanks to the testimony, which I always say then, you know, we have to see that we prophecy among the, you know, the disciples and the Lorna. So at this time, King Emmanuel caused the house of representative in Jamaica to close down for three days. This was heard from Buckingham Palace, come straight down to Dunning Street, my Lord. So we give thanks for such mighty works. The man of right, you know, the man well I, Selassie, I, Rastafari. So all out of love and peace, you know, and joy and celebration, you know, and hope everyone, you know, it was full of joy you know, of the program, my Lord and Empress, all our viewers. I do hand over the floor to Empress. Lady me, Empress. Blessed love. Blessed love, honorable goddess, prophetess, each and every one. Happy celebration continue. Give thanks for all the researchers and give thanks for the um, host and the um, all the em elder empress, Empress Miriam, the founder of HSR, Health, Strength and Restoration. And I can say that I've learned a lot from this program from have been listening and, um, and my internet, internet allow, I joined. I join in from Ethiopia. I give thanks and glorify for the wonderful celebration yesterday and I've learned so much continually. Give thanks also for the co-hosts. And I give thanks and praises for King Emmanuel Charles Edwards, the latest foundation open wide the door, you know, and said that we must publish his word, you know. And praise last year, I said that we must um, keep mama visible. Amakam Zaya Gabi said that we must always fight the red, black, and green, you know? And that's his joy to see the red, black, and green um, on the hilltops of Africa, you know? So anyway, we there, we could fly our banners, you know, and always remember our God and King is within us. You know, not like our evil world teach us to look out of ourselves and look in the sky for God. King Emmanuel K. Charles Edwards came and told us to look inward, you know, to see the God in you. And when you see the God in you, you know, you can talk with him, you can feel him, you know. But for me, look in the sky, you're reaching out of yourself. Look how high the sky is. How could we find God in the sky? 
when he's just in our hearts, you know. There's a book that name, um, uh, uh, mm -hmm. the um, Jesus Christus anthology. And it said that the greatest mystery is how Jesus Christ, the Black Christ in Christ, King Emmanuel, King Emmanuel Charles Edwards, live in our hearts. You know, that's the greatest mystery. That's why it's hard for one's ones to um, comprehend. You know? So all who are listening, please come out the sky, you know, and look into yourself, you know, and love yourself. Because you know, God is love and live good one amongst you one another can make Jack come in our hearts because Jack cannot abide in filthy hearts or doubtful hearts. And this health strength and restoration now come to teach us our goodie, you know, that we can make ourselves clean, you know, to meet our king. Holy Manuel, I Celestia, I Jack, Rastafari. I give thanks and glorify for each and every one that, you know, is trying Jack works to do. This is my little few words of strength towards the health, strength, and restoration. Thanks for the host again. Give thanks for the founder of this program and give thanks for all the researchers. Sister Cindy, Sister Rachel, Sister Dion, who do extensive research, and Honorable Buffer Clark that come in with the scriptural um, part of the program. I am thankful and joyful to be a part of this program. And whenever my internet allow and my temple, and because I love how Priest Clark, Prophet Clark said that I'm once a man, twice a child, because I'm an elder and Priest Lily, Sister Lily, and I'm going through the stages of getting elderly and my temple to the Holy Poor work in Babylon to accomplish my goal, which is to reach Ethiopia. You know, I'm turning forward to a child. But yeah, thanks for King Emmanuel Charles Evers, Marcus Messiah Garvey, and Empress Selassie, and Empress Menonai, and Empress Amy Jakes Garvey, you know, that teach us, you know, how to preserve life. And I give thanks for health, strength, and restoration doing this great work, which is helping us to preserve life, not on a medical um, view. To say, because like Honorable Empress Dion say, always emphasize we are not we are not medical doctors, but we still have a knowledge, you know, and uh, they use pharmaceuticals, but this program use um herbal herbal remedies, you know. And Priest Kellak Kella said last night that um that um herbal remedies is not like you know a quick reaction to fix, get me fixed, get me better, quick fix. It takes a process, you know? So when this health strength and restoration gives advice, you must know, say that you must take your time and, you know, drink your bush medicine, take your turmeric, your cayenne pepper, your sea moss, and all those good remedies that Empress Dion and Empress Cindy and Empress Rachel, you know, put forward. So give thanks and glorify. Peace and love. Happy celebration. Most high, Celestia, Jarasafar. Peace and love on our kingdom stand forever and ever. Holy Manuel, I, Celestia, Jarasafar. Give thanks. Take it over to the co host. Yes, I. Give thanks, Honorable Empress Lily. Yes. Keep, let us keep Mama visible. Yes, yes. love. And let us uplift, you know. Mama Visible, Health Strength and Restoration. Yes, I, so we give thanks to your kind words, you know, as usual, you know, strengthening back the Health Strength and Restoration family. And we glorify, you know, the work, you know, of I and I daughters, you know, and brethren as we come together to help our one another and to, you know, to teach them about you know, the organs, you know, within our goodie. Look at that, eh? 
how to take care of it, you know, when it is healthy, how it work, okay? When it's not healthy, how it stay. And, and give thanks to the herbalist, you know, who is here, you know, who's always telling us what superfood to use, what herb to use to get our heart and back in tune. So I give thanks to this wonderful work that I and I daughter is, is doing. And thank the Father for keeping us going as we go from time to time and as we go deeper in our research. Now, this is our nine program, you know, of the season. And this season will be coming to a close shortly as we have one more program to go to make it 10. And then we'll be taking a break, you know, and um, we'll re return back in a, in a while. But we have one more program to go. And as it ending up that program, we will really inform our listeners, you know, about our movements and when we'll be back and here again. So I do, too, I do give thanks, you know, for all what's said and done. I give thanks again for the African Liberation Network, you know, who give us, you know, this platform that we could share, you know, with our one another, you know, the, 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 the YouTube family, the Boba Shanti family who are listening, you know, especially the young men. It was all about the, 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 the brethren them tonight and the young, young prince them growing up you know, as they reach from time to time and see their goodies start to change, they know what is happening. So this program is very vital and important to the brethren them, you know, and we give thanks, you know, to our family, our health, strength and restoration family. Give thanks, Jack Clark, as you round it up, you know, and uh, glorify. Yes, and we, we are still celebrating our one year of anniversary you know, and we go on all right peace love and joy i will turn back over the floor and to honorable priest jeremy and to give a, a word and two and then him hand over the and then him hand over the the the, the floor back to honorable prophet daniel as in close so feel up Magic. Yes, uh... Blessed yes. love, Honorable M. Maisie, give thanks. My this Lord. Was a wonderfully packed, you know, um, speech as well. Give thanks him for Honorable Empress Lily May. You know, I was listening in and trust me, you really, really honed in tonight. And yeah, the topic was full, full, full of information, Empress Lily May. So give thanks for your experience. Give thanks for your knowledge also. Give thanks him for your, you know, your humbleness, your patience, you know, everything about the eye, you know. It's definitely a goddess. So we give thanks to him for all the ones them even before, Honorable Empress Cindy, Honorable Empress Rachel, Honorable Empress Dion, Honorable Prophet Jakaki, you know, all blessings. This time, I had to say reverence, reverence, and I should only bring this to nobody. Earth and sky and sea, most high, celestial high, Ja, Rastafari high. Our glory be unto our Father, unto the Son, unto the Holy One of creation. As Ja is in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. Ja, where we don't end, celestial high, Ja. Rastafari, I. Oh, how good and how pleasant it is for us brothers and sisters to dwell together within one perfect love and one perfect unity. It's like a precious ointment around and upon the beard. Even Aaron's beard that went down to the skirts of his garments, like the dew of Hermon, like the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion. The the Lord God commanded his blessing, even life and love for no more. Jaoga, Ja Rastafa. I give thanks, my Lord and Empress, all blessings and all blessings. One perfect.
Call Inja Daniel. Blessed love, my Lord and Empress. Blessed love. Uh, Jadan, get I Jadan am the host the for tonight. Oh, you are the I host, am... yes. I'm the host for tonight. This is the African Liberation Network Health, Strength, and Restoration Program. Peace and love, our kingdom stand forever. Give thanks for the work of the researchers, their time, their patience, and their efforts. Give thanks for everyone tuning in tonight. This is the African Liberation, and we are saying blessed love, one night protection. So our loved ones, Holy Manwalai, Salasia Icha, Rastafari. Give thanks. Blessed love family. Peace and love, peace and love. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.